in-state students especially, Arizona State University is still a bargain compared to out-of-state or private universities. But ASU is not cheap. We checked out the numbers on the university's website, asu.edu. There's a tuition, cost of attendance, and financial aid estimated. Where does your money go? Let's see. A year as an undergraduate in the liberal arts program costs $9,720. That's just tuition and fees. Fees include student service facility fee, $150. Technology fee, $100. Student programs fee, $50. Health and wellness fee, $80. And so on. Add in books, just under $1,300. Over $7,000 for a dorm room. $4,000 for a year of cafeteria food. $1,000 for transportation. By the way, a parking pass can cost $780 a year. Add in a couple thousand more in personal expenses along the way, and the grand total for a year at ASU, $25,548. It gives me a heart attack. It's like sticker shock. Um, but, you know, at the same time, a high school diploma is basically nothing now. Still, the students we talk to, and parents as well, seem determined to pay whatever they have to pay in order for their kids to graduate from ASU with a four-year degree. The reason, they say, there's really no alternative. You know, it's tough because in order to get a job in the real world, they need their college education. So it is tough for in-state students. You stress Every out night. about the, the financial thing? Oh, yes. Every night. How do you swing at this, uh, this amount of cost for a year in college? How do you do it? Uh, you know, just, I have to work and, you know, student loans and private loans. And you just got to use, I mean, you got to use all those resources and, you just got to try not to go into too much debt. Right now, I know I have financial aid helping me out, but by the time I get into my second, uh, third and fourth years, I got to figure it out then because I don't know what the, how uh, our economy is doing with the financial situation. So, If it seems like an impossible task paying for college, at least you can take comfort in the fact a lot of people are going through the same thing. In Tempe, Steve Kraft, Fox 10 News. So is that cost worth it? This is what a member of the Arizona Board of Regents, the group that oversees Arizona's public universities, had to say. It's still very efficient to get a college degree. It's even more critical than ever to complete your college degree. By 2018, six out of 10 jobs in Arizona are going to require some type of post-secondary education. Additionally, we know that students that have a bachelor's degree have a higher lifetime earning potential. Joining us now is somebody who says people, they might rethink their decision to go to college. Joseph McDaniel, an expert in bankruptcy and attorney. And you've written a pretty interesting blog on this particular item. You told me before we, uh, when we were chatting earlier that you're actually very concerned. You said scared to death for this next group of kids who are graduating from college. Explain what you meant by that. I'm scared to death that we're generating a lost generation of students. Kids who are coming out with, well, my champion has $350,000 of non-dischargeable student debt, and the poor girl is only making $20,000 a year. Wow. So you're representing somebody in bankruptcy who's trying to get out of the student loan debt, which is almost impossible to get out of. And then these kids are graduating in a job market that's tougher than any of us have ever seen. It's, it's close to what was going on almost in the Great Depression. But you have to admit... Joseph, that it's tougher for someone who doesn't have a college degree to get a job than somebody who does. Is that right? It depends. What kind of a degree are we talking about? Are we talking a doctorate in Aramaic grammar? <laughs> if so, that's a pretty hard job uh, to find. I graduated from ASU with an undergraduate degree in philosophy, uh, and that was during a recession as well. I learned how to dig a very good ditch with a pick and an Irish teaspoon. And I will tell you that that was one of the motivating factors that put me back in school, and therefore I got a law degree. But I didn't learn to practice bankruptcy law by studying in school. That's fine, but I didn't learn anything until what? I became a law clerk for two bankruptcy judges here in Arizona. So you took basically an internship, and that's one of the things you suggest. You say that kids... They plan to get what degree they want to study. They plan what classes they take, but they don't plan 
for what the uh, job is and how do you get the job? And you say you need to start worrying about that a lot sooner. You need when to do start you suggest they start thinking about the job? I want them to start planning for the rest of their life before they start their first day of school. For heaven's sakes, community colleges are a great bargain here in Arizona. And they teach just as well as any place else. A two-year degree is a very useful thing to have because it gives you potentially an opportunity to get some on-the-job training. Internships, clerkships, and any other sort of um, uh, situation in which a kid can watch on-the-job work being done yeah. is a very useful thing. At a minimum, they'll find out they hate that job and they can change uh, directions before they have $130,000. That's where I learned uh, my yeah. job in an internship and I think a lot of people in television and probably in your line of work as well. Some of the most successful people don't have a college degree. I'm thinking Bill Gates, Steve Jobs. I could name dozens of people right now who are considered the most successful in our society. And that's a perfect example of people who think about their future rather than just the next four years. When they're in school, kids should also begin to network. Friends are as important as anything else when it comes to finding a job. They need to make friends and stay friends all through college. And not with, just with their drinking buddies, right? <laughs> absolutely well, correct. Sometimes. Although drinking buddies can be <laughs> an extraordinarily useful source of business. <laughs> right. Jo I, John's agreeing I wholeheartedly I over love here. That. Joseph McDaniel, bankruptcy attorney, expert in this field, and a uh, guy who writes a really great blog. Thanks so much. Uh, I agree with a lot of what you said tonight. Thanks. Thank you very much. Get myfoxphoenix.com on your iPhone free at the App Store and stay connected.